Welcome to Lumion video tutorial number 3. In this tutorial, we will look at materials. This is the house that we previously loaded in from SketchUp. As you can see, it already has some materials assigned to it in SketchUp. We can update this with additional properties, or we can change them for Lumion materials. But to do that, let's first move over to the side of the house where the sun shines on the material so we can see it better. I will temporarily show the overlay of the keyboard again. As we saw in lesson one, we can move around the scene in several ways. One of them is to move the center of the viewpoint in a certain direction. Press the O key, press the right mouse button, and we can circle around that point. You can scroll out, you can move left and right, forward, back, up and down with Q, W, E, A, S, D keys. Scroll in and out. Rotate the viewpoint again. Scroll. And there's another way of doing more precise movements, and that's by pressing the center mouse button, the scroll wheel. And while pressing it, shift left and right or up and down. This is a very convenient way of moving close to a particular surface. Now let's look at the metal of this surface. To change or assign materials, click on the tab in the bottom left section of the user interface. Now we can click on each surface that had a material assigned to it in your CAD software. Clicking on it brings up the material property box. The imported material is left as it was when you assigned it in your CAD software. You can import this material in Lumion by clicking on Standard. Now the texture was imported and some additional properties become available. Some of these are set to 1. For example, the glossiness is 1, while it should be probably 0. So you can put the slider all the way to the left. Reflectivity is an indication of how much of the infalling light is reflected to the surfaces in the area of the surface. So we can put it a little bit lower as well. The third one is to relief one. Right now it doesn't do anything because this texture did not have a normal map. We can create a normal map by clicking on the Create Normal Map button. You can already see some bumpiness appear and with that a relief slider when we can increase that amount of bumpiness. By default, the scale is set to zero, which means the texture alignment in Lumion is the same as when you assigned it in your CAD software. But you can change it here. Once you change it, a few properties and sliders become available in the section below. For example, X offset. You can shift it in the X direction, Y offset, vertical direction, Z offset, in the Z direction or you can change the orientation, heading, pitch, bank. Now let's set them all to zero. Transparency, waxiness, which is a property that has to do with the light absorption, or transparency, you can make the material more or less transparent. The settings box allows you to set some other properties, some of them to do with color and lighting. Emissiveness, for example, lets the surface emit light. This is again more applicable for neon lights, for example, or TV sets. Saturation, amount of color. Let's keep that to one. Specular. Flicker reduction. We'll look at that in a later tutorial and Texture Alpha will also deal with in a future tutorial. Weathering allows you to let your material look a little bit old and weathered. You can set it with the slider so you can see some green moss grow on the material. Some different types of weathering dependent on the material. So for now, this was stone, but we can set it to iron and the appearance will be slightly different. The last option in the weathering section is edges. 
With this slider, you can set the roundedness of the edges of the surface that you selected. And the last one is foliage. Here, you can let foliage grow on your surface and have some properties to set it right, like leaf size, type, spread pattern, and ground level. Some of these sliders are very sensitive. In this case, you can press Shift and slide for a more precise movement. These three dotted lines bring up a menu. Here, you can copy and paste your material settings to another surface. To accept your material settings, press the Save Changes button at the bottom right. If you did not like your settings, you can cancel all of them. Now, instead of importing the material from your CAD software, you can also use Lumion material. Click on this button that says, Go to Material Library. And here we have several tabs. Nature, Indoor, Outdoor, and custom. Go to Outdoor, select Metal, and this brings up various materials of the metal type. So you can just experiment with the metal that you like from the Lumion library. Double clicking on it brings up the same dialog box that allows you to change all these properties again. So if you think the amount of glossiness is too high, you can still put it lower. Or the reflectivity, or the relief. Now what you may have noticed, that not only this particular section changed, but also some of the other parts of the model have changed when we made this material assignments. This is because we used exactly the same material for different surfaces in the CAD software. If this is not intentional and you want to have unique properties for each of these services, you need to give them a unique material in your CAD software. There is no way in Lumion to split this up at a later stage. Now let's look at the glass. Glass is a very special type of material with different properties from normal materials. Clicking on it brings up a dialog box, which looks slightly different. So there's a whole load of different properties related to glass, but there are also a whole lot of different preset glass materials that you can choose from, and you may not have to change them. If you still want to change the properties, click on it, and the dialog box appears again. You can also change the RGB colors or darkness, It is possible to use your own texture, for example, a brick texture that you get from your supplier. Go to the Material Editor, click on the surface that needs to have your brick texture, click on it. We first use the bricks that are available from the Lumion Library. Click again to edit the properties. Now we can choose another color map. Click on it. Go to your own texture folder. Wait a few seconds. Now your own texture is applied to this surface. The normal map is automatically created as well. If you get closer, you can have a look at it. Now the glossiness is set to 1, so we can further reduce that. Increase the relief. This way you can have your own material. You can save it to a file, brick, and use it on other projects or other surfaces later on. You can always go back to the original material. Click on it. Go to Material Library. Go to Custom. 
go to Imported Material, and you're back to the material as it was in your CAD file. There are some additional materials that we will deal with in other tutorials. Changing all your materials to Lumion materials and setting all the Lumion material properties will improve the quality of the renderings that you make with your model. This concludes Lumion tutorial number three about materials. In the next tutorial, we will create more context around your design in your project.